Hi everyone, my name is Isabella Cicillowati. I'm an Excel and Power BI enthusiast with decades of business experience. In this video, I'd like to show you a sample Power BI dashboard style reports that I came across in Power BI Surface and subsequently downloaded to my computer. Something that looked like this. We have beautiful sales and marketing reports with donut, chart, horizontal, bar chart, as well as vertical bar chart with nice consistent color. Also some cards in here, some row cards, multiple row cards, and then three maps in here. Yeah. And with the three maps, look at that, some tooltips chart. Yeah. And look at this, oh, different color yellow and black nice consistent color scheme being used and there is a map chart in here with legends and also pie chart showing sales by channel yeah consistent color scheme really beautiful and this page is probably my favorite it's got buttons so you can select different channel by holding control and clicking your mouse it prompts you control and click to follow the link look at that how beautiful is this? Next, I will show you where to go to download the PBIX reports from Power BI Surface as it may not be obvious to everyone. Please note that you can only do this if you have premium subscription. If you don't have premium subscription, I'll provide a link in the video description below so you can still download the file and use it to advance your learning journey. As you log on to Power BI Surface, you will see your homepage that may look like this. You've got recommended and recent reports. This is the simplified view. And if you click this drop down box over here, you can swap that into expanded view. And when you are on expanded view and you scroll down, there is a section in here about getting started with Power BI and looking at sample reports. And by clicking some of the samples, you will be able to download the Power BI version. When you just click once, it will open up the reports in Power BI Surface. You can use it and play around or to download it, click file and download the BIX file. And this pop-up box will come out and just wait patiently. Once completed, the file will be displayed. And look at that, the file is now there. After you have downloaded the file, please play around with it and please tell me what do you think about it. I really like this report. There's so many beautiful Power BI features embedded within the reports which showcase what Power BI can do if you know how to utilize various types of visualization as well as various features such as filter, interaction, drill through, tooltips, bookmark, and buttons. However, unfortunately, there are at least three careless mistakes that I pick up while perusing the reports. I'm really surprised that these are not picked up by the Power BI team. Firstly, do you notice the slightly inconsistent color scheme? Notice how outlet sales is yellow in here, yellow in here. Yellow in here in the tree map, yellow there, and yellow in here, but not exactly yellow in there. That's pink for outlet, and that's also pink for outlet. Not consistent. And secondly, do you notice that total sales are not really total sales? If you look at the decks, it seems to be referencing total volume. Let's look at total sales and send check it. Click total sales and notice how cards is selected and KPI 01 is the input fields for that card. So if you want to troubleshoot, just type KPI 01 and then click it there and the text came out. Now notice all of this is referencing total units year to date or total category volume. 
Nothing in here says sales. And thirdly, the ROI headings found throughout the report is again a little inconsistent with the text, which seems to be referencing year-on-year -year volume growth. Now let's send check ROI. Firstly, let's expand the filter pane. Now if the filter pane is not visible, go to view and click that filter. By clicking it, you hide it, you click it one more time, you unhide them. Yeah. Then click return on investment and notice that rate card, multi row card is now selected. The input is KP01. I'm just going to type that. KPI01 so that we can see the DAX and this is the same DAX as before yeah but notice in these visuals there is filter on it and it says KPI is 1 which means that in this if statement that made up KPI01 it's the first if statement the first line that get applied which is if KPI is equal to 1 then concatenate left total units here to date the first three digit with ROI but hold on this doesn't look like ROI total units year to date what is that let's send check type it in the search total units year to date for percentage 2 and hmm, the formula says divide total units year to date divided by total units apply that sounds like year on year growth to me doesn't seem like ROI Despite small careless mistakes found as of November 2021, there are still so many great things about these reports. And in the coming weeks, in my next videos, I will show you how we can recreate elements of this report together. Firstly, I will show you what we can do to correct the careless mistakes in the report. And then after that, I will show you how to recreate various types of visualization, such as card, multi-row card, donut chart, line and stack column charts, map charts, tree map, as well as horizontal bar chart with drill through. And I will also explain fundamental Power BI concepts that you need to understand, such as filter, interaction, drill through, tooltips, bookmarks, and buttons. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, Please remember to do so, so that you don't miss out on my future videos that I publish every Thursday in YouTube. See you next time!